champagne secrets. Let me start off by saying this. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. Everything that we discuss is alleged and everything that we discuss is done so by way of the Fair Use Act, which allows us to do so for the purposes of discussion and criticism and education and teaching. And it's for entertainment purposes only. I am not a medical profession, so everything that you're getting ready to hear regarding what is going on is my personal opinion. And that's for the dumb dumb ditties in the basement who don't realize that the sole purpose of an individual having a channel is for them to express their opinions. And it doesn't necessarily have to echo yours. Got it? Y'all, so it looks like Gold's plastic surgery is suing Zeus Network. <laughs> They're suing Zeus for the production of the Transforming Rolly show that is now on the Zeus Network. And I just recently did a review of the first episode. The reason that they're suing Zeus apparently is due to some remarks that were made by Rolly and also the fact that Zeus released the footage without first letting them see it to make sure that it didn't show their business in a negative light. And here's my problem with it. Even if Rolly had never said anything at all, there's nothing that they could have shown from her procedures that would have shown goals in a positive light. Nothing at all. Nothing. If you want the people who come to you to have a positive experience, then you have to give them one. What we saw in that video was people standing around who were supposed to be a part of the procedure with no gloves on, putting glo gloves on in the middle of the procedure, a door sitting wide open, tools sitting in the open that are supposed to be used on her. The only sterilization that was used was spray on the tools that you remove fat from her with and use the same tool to reinsert fat back into her with just just spray there I'm not a medical professional but there was so much in the video that I saw that looked wrong Roly didn't even have to open her mouth and say a word say not one word but it looks like they're now suing um, the Zeus Network and um, I looked it up and according to radar online the Zeus Network is being sued by plastic surgeon who worked on Gia Mayhem and if you all know Gia Mayhem is Roly uh, I believe that is her stage name because her actual name is Goldie, according to the show. Uh, Roly underwent a double BBL and a flex scope with Gold's plastic surgery on last year and claimed her results were less than desirable. While her complaints were mentioned, the lawsuit is largely focused on another issue. Gold's plastic surgery took legal action against Zeus Network for trademark and copyright infringement, detailing their complaint in newly filed court docs obtained by Radar Online. So the first procedure that Roly got was an autologous fat transfer to the buttocks and hips, while the latter easily removes unwanted fat from specific areas, according to the website. The reps for the facility alleged the network agreed to let them review footage to ensure it didn't tarnish their professional reputation or show other patients in the video as they wanted to proceed with caution due to the nature of reality TV. Here's where I have a problem, right? Press pause. So you wanted to make sure that no other patients were shown in this video, but you didn't have a problem having a door wide open so other patients could see her procedure? <laughs> what are we doing? Make it make sense. Because if two plus two is four <laughs> and five plus five is 10, then wouldn't the same professionalism that you would want and the same HIPAA guidelines that you want followed for your other patients, shouldn't those have been followed for her? So it continues on saying defendants representatives promised that the television production would be entirely positive, would benefit goals and Dr. Voskin's reputation by putting them in a positive light, and that the sole consideration for the services to be provided by goals was the positive advertisements and representation stemming from the procedure. So press pause again, because we're not talking about advertisement for a Big Mac here. We're talking about plastic surgery, which means altering someone's body. So if someone's body is botched, how much positivity to, do you expect to come out of that? Do you expect them to walk around with a botched body? And in her case, she did mention she had nerve damage. You expect someone to walk around with nerve damage and still boast your clinic as being the best? Like, see, this is my problem with today's society. Anybody can sue about anything, whether it makes sense or not, because clearly this makes no sense. 
The plaintiffs alleged that Rowley continued to defame them and falsely accused Gold's plastic surgery of unaliving patients and more. Rowley is not a defendant in the lawsuit, but they took her to arbitration in a separate battle. In March 2024, they were made aware of a video promotional trailer shared by Zeus Network in which Goals was tagged. Throughout the promotional video, plaintiff's location and trademarks are regularly used and displayed. The doctor stated, noting there were people who appeared to be or possibly were patients. Concerned with what might be the rest of the show, plaintiffs had to act they stated. Ghost Plastic Surgery referenced a second video, which further disparaged their facility and continued to use their locations and trademarks. The plaintiffs are seeking more than $2 million in damages, and Zeus Network reps have yet to respond. This is insane. This is all for money. This is all for money, because why else are you filing a lawsuit? In my opinion, you realize how big of a network Zeus is growing to be. Whether we like it or not, Zeus Network is becoming one of the top streaming apps that everyone is watching due to bad, you know, this generation, this world likes Fight Club and baddies gives you Fight Club. So they want it like everybody else to get in on the money. See, they paid attention to how Zeus was beginning to blow up and they had to think about it. You got Jocelyn's Cabaret on the show, which is a bunch of strippers who are going to want their bodies done. You have baddies on the Zeus Network, which are either a bunch of girls who have BBLs or have nice bodies or a bunch of girls who are going to be coming on the show who are going to want their bodies done so that they can fit a status quo. So in their minds, they saw a money grab. All I got to do is connect with Zeus. You got all these girls who are coming on Zeus. So if I offer a few of them some free surgeries for promotion, then there we go. Here comes clients. Our name is out there. We get the opportunity to get bigger. Cash for cash. We get the cash in on it. But the problem is you didn't make sure you were up to par to get in on the money. You allowed these young ladies, because if we stop again, Roly's gotten a surgery, Siki's gotten a surgery, E.T.'s gotten a surgery, and I believe they did all these surgeries for free. You allowed this to be done for free for a promotion. That meant when you got ready to do these surgeries, you should have made sure everything was up to par in the beginning. I think this lawsuit is absolute trash. I really do. Absolute trash. You're mad at me because I didn't like a product that you gave to me for free because you thought that I would just say it was good when it wasn't. So is there a contract that said when you release this, you're not allowed to release anything negative? You're not allowed to see anything negative? Or was it give me your honest opinion? Because even when you look on YouTube and a lot of the YouTubers that you see when they're advertising, it's for an honest opinion. It's not for you to take their product and say just what they want you to say. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? It's not like we're ordering a workout machine and I'm able to give the workout machine back if I don't like how hard I got to work on it or if it's not helping me accomplish the goal that I'm looking for. And I'm able to give it back to the person that gave it to me for a review and say, you know what? This isn't working for me. I'm going to give it back. This is a whole body. <laughs> so if you botch my body and something goes wrong and I got to come back to you to, re to repair it, you're going to charge me extra money. So what, what I'm not understanding what goals was expected because even on you eat listen even given my opinion on YouTube I still have people who jump in my comments and say something negative you cannot control what people think of what you put out so to say that Zeus showed you in a bad light no you showed yourself <laughs> in a bad light so I went to the Better Business Bureau right because I wanted to see if there was any other complaints out there regarding uh, Gold's plastic surgery. And just like I thought, not only does there seem to be one page, but there seems to be 12. So let's look at some of these complaints. This first complaint was from March 18th of 2024. And it says, the lack of communication that I received from Gold's weight loss department is baffling. I paid for my injections on February 29th and completed all required blood work. Someone from the weight loss department texted me this past Tuesday asking if I had completed blank with blank. I advised the individual no. Then I was told that someone would be in contact with me March 15th to confirm my appointment for March 18th. The 15th came around and no call, no nothing. I have to call multiple times on Friday 
requesting to speak with a supervisor and no supervisor contacted me back. So goals responded back and their only response was, we are unable to respond to this request under state and federal law, including HIPAA. There's no update. There's nothing here showing that um, this situation has been resolved. And this was just March 18th of 2024. So there was another one, March 7th of 2024. It says, 2-15-2024, I accepted a promo, quote, PQ, for blank, blank, blank. PQ was emailed with the wrong surgery. Uh, surgical consultant, SC, said BBL is part of the promotion. Just tell them you don't want it. Before acceptance, SC and I had multiple conversations about my medical and geographical concerns, etc. She told me I could only consult with the doctor after accepting the quote, but she would review my details with the doctor and get back to me. She said my images were approved. I accepted. My surgical date, 5-5, consultation, 5-1, and two post-op dates in MD I asked for PA were emailed to me. Additional incorrect information was given by SC, i.e. lab work, medical clearance, pre, post-op, recovery time, documents time frame, BMI requirements, which I do not meet guidelines for, services paid for, etc. Bose were not responsive to message and did not call 224 at 1.45 p.m. for appointment. I emailed my assigned surgeon, blank, 225 with concerns. Next day, he responded, my apologies for any difficulties you are experiencing during this process. I have escalated to the corporate manager to address, FYI, the virtual appointment that you have scheduled is with the corporate pre-op department. I thought we were scheduled to meet. Got a voice message from Uma on 226. I haven't been able to reach him. 5-1, my PCP did not clear me for the surgery due to my complex medical history and acute symptoms presented with. 5-5, five, five, blank in the pre-op, said now I need my oncologist to complete the form, suggesting that they would ignore the clearance from my PCP if the oncologist cleared me for surgery. This is preposterous. I told Blank that my oncologist advised me to go to my PCP beforehand. She told me to see another oncologist. I asked multiple times to escalate the issue. Eventually, she said her supervisor will call me back. No call. Coupled with these issues and goals, attempt to force surgery I wasn't medically cleared for or lose $5,200. May you please help me. So this is insane. This girl is basically saying that they tried to get her to go to an oncologist to basically override her PCP so that she can get the surgery done. And now they're not communicating and they won't give her a refund. So her only option is to get the service done. Uh, in an update to this, the, the company said, goals, we are unable to respond to this complaint pursuant to state and federal law. So the customer responded back and said, blank, blank, send me an email stating that a refund was approved for me to see attached. However, I have not received the refund as of yet. And supervisor blank states they are deducting $750 for administrative fees. I reached out to Blank questioning the accuracy of these administrative fees. I have gotten a res I haven't gotten a response. Also, Blank on two different occasions said that she would email a refund document to me to sign and return. I have not received it yet and now they have stopped responding to me. And that was 318 of 2024. Y'all, this is crazy. So the only response from the company is we are unable to respond pursuant to state and federal law, including HIPAA. Another uh, complaint, 130 of 2024, 6123, I had a cosmetic surgery expected to be a tummy tuck and liposuction in five areas indicated on the contract. Previous to surgery, photos were taken of my body. I was given a price quote of $11,150. I was to pay $250 to book the procedure. I have a big paper email of all of these events as well. So I booked for July 2023, but I came into some money early. So I changed the date to 6-1. Arrives for my surgery at 5 a.m. Gets prepped by a nurse. Doctor sees me. He talks to me about the surgery. I have surgery. I get home. I get filled with questions. 
they are very unresponsive to me uh, for me to have a, had a major surgery like this. I'm sorry. I have gone back to the office and expressed through photos and text that I'm not happy with the surgery results. Had to come back to the office half a dozen times. Doctors tells me to give it six months for healing and I'll see my, ma- my amazing results. Well, six months, which was 12-6, I gave an appointment. I show up. They say the doctor canceled all appointments. I received no contact at all. So I called the 800 number. They give me appointment for the next week. Blank have the, uh, virtual Wednesdays. Asking doctor about how I look. He says he was not aware that I was getting any liposuction that he had to now consult with higher blank and get back to me. Weeks go by and I hear nothing. It's holidays, so I'm impatient. Finally, someone sends me a snippet of a contract saying the doctor can opt to change surgery during surgery without my consent. If he was unable to do a complete job, I should have been given the option if I wanted to move forward or not. So now they want me to pay for the liposuction never gotten during my my surgery, which is 5K more. These people are running a scam and I want to report them to the medical board next. It's not right. I have so many correspondence from the beginning where they told where I told them I was unhappy. I saw another surgeon. He says 14K to fix what this doctor did. How could that be right? I'm so depressed and I need clarification on what they did to me. I have so much more correspondence. Also, this was done by blank and blank at blank location. This is insane. This is insane. Now I do know or I have heard that when you're getting um, these procedures done, if they run into an issue that they can stop, but to just not do it and then to not tell you they didn't do it and then for the doctor to come back and say that he didn't realize he was supposed to do it is absolutely insane. And it makes me wonder how much research do we really do on these places before we go in and have these procedures done. Because on 225 of 24, their response was, we are unable to respond to this complaint pursuant to state and federal law, including HIPAA. So her response was, um, I give full consent for goals to discuss my case per the HIPAA laws. They are a scam company who takes people money, assures them of results. And then when you're done, they tell you you need a second round. So I'm still unsatisfied that I paid $11,150 and still need more surgery. But that was never communicated through this process. So another person says on 112.24, I am deeply concerned about my experience with Gold's plastic surgery after signing up during a Black Friday special on 11.27. The representative provided misinformation affecting my comfort and security. I expressed concerns about living in blank and was told there was an office in blank, later discovering that it was in blank a two hour flight away. The consultation raised issues about the BBL portion and conflicting information was given regarding the need for someone to accompany blank face challenges with communication, misinformation, and scheduling issues, culminating in a rushed virtual consultation on 12-22. On 1-9, I experienced a missed pre-op call and conflicting information about the surgery's necessity, leaving me distressed and questioning the safety of the procedure. Concerns escalated on 110, learning about the past surgery delays, botched BBLs, and issues with anesthesia. On 111, I proposed alternatives, but additional fees for rescheduling or changing doctors were presented. I'm left anxious, considering cancellation due to safety concerns, with only a narrow window of 30 days for any refund. I seek assistance in disputing charges or finding a solution that prioritizes my peace of mind. I've saved diligently for this experience and now face the difficult decision between potentially wasted money and my fear of proceeding with any uncertain surgery. Any help or guidance is greatly appreciated. I have attached a full document with details and screenshots. So my question is, these ladies have to pay for this in full before even getting the procedure? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I literally have no words because this is absolutely insane. 
your pre-op call is virtual it's not in person so that you can be checked so that you can have the comfort of knowing who's going to be operating you operating on you or performing this procedure on you they lied to you about the location so you got to spend extra money in order to get there this is absolutely insane and of course the response um we are unable to respond as such would violate state and federal law including under hipaa so she responds back and says i have refused the response made by the business in reference to the complaint and find that this resolution is satisfactory to me and the matter has been resolved so it looks like they were able to get some kind of resolution in her situation but on another one 10 31 23 and these are all back to back they're it's not even spread apart. It would be one thing if all of these complaints were spread apart, but they're not. The first one that I read to you is 318.24. The next one was 37.24. The next one was 130.24. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you go back? Yep. 17.24. One th- well, I'm sorry. 130.24. The next was 112.24. There's one from 1031 23, 1030 20, 1012 23. These are back to back. So, them filing a lawsuit against Zeus, Zeus is the least of their problems. Look at, just pull them up on the Better Business Bureau. Look up Goals Plastic Surgery Reviews and it will pull up the Better Business Bureau. There's like 12 pages. And if I go to the last page, the last page is 2021. So all of these are within a matter of three years, 12 pages of complaints. So the least of your problems is Zeus. And that's why I say that this lawsuit is complete BS. It's complete BS. Now, if the terms of the contract where they were supposed to be able to review the footage first before it was released so that they can give their um, input on what should be released and what shouldn't, the fact of the matter is this, sweetie, (laughs) nothing they could have released from episode one would have shown them in a good light. So in that case, they would have had to scrap the whole show or anything that shows them in it because episode one was complete trash. Like there was nothing in that episode that seemed conducive to a surgical procedure turning out okay nothing nothing drop in the comments and let me know what you think about all this confidence always remember and this is why i say this saying because if it doesn't cause you to elevate baby it's causing you to depreciate now raise those glasses clink and let's drink till we meet again ta-ta